In this video, I get my big one out. I tickle a wheel. I have an accident on a brush. And I make my car cry. And welcome back to the Paul Dalton Details channel. This week I have a nice simple video for you, wheel cleaning and tire dressing. I'm not gonna be cleaning the car, just saying. CarScope UK, sent down some lovely products. So yes, my wheels are nice and grimy. And they have been refurbished. That's why we're in good nick. And I hope they stay that way refurbished just before I purchased the car. So we have Siege Wheel and Tire Cleaner. This can be diluted. It's ready to use, but you can dilute it. However, it does not say that on the bottle. I just spoke to the owner. He said you can actually dilute it. Rotor Wheel Shampoo, 25 to 50 mil. You can use it in a bucket or a pump foamer. Ink Tire Dressing, that has SiO2 in it. Lovely hog's hair brush. I do an interior one of those as well. Machine this week is my Neil Fisk C135i with a stubby gun attachment, and that attachment on the end is also a car scope quick release attachment. SGC BUK tire scrubbing brush. A wheel woolly from high definition detail. And a rather generic wash mitt. So I always rinse my wheels down. It does, however, say that on the instructions. It's entirely up to you. I personally feel this is necessary just to get rid of the grime off the face and the barrel, the wheel, the arch, the tire. It's all easy peasy, this, isn't it? Lots of you will be saying in the comments, oh no, Paul, you're gonna dilute the product. Don't be daft. So load up your tire scrubbing brush, apply it to the tire, and get to work. So instantly this will turn brown, all the residue, all the gunk coming at your tire. If it requires several hits, hit it twice, three times. Once that foam goes white, job done. So that's gonna require a second hit what it looks like and it's on the tire. So alternatively, you can use an all-purpose cleaner. These are meant for convenience, these products, these ready-to-use products. They're not for everybody. So you might be asking, why not put the fact it can be diluted on the bottle? That's purely down to the manufacturer. You just have to use a little bit of common. So if you want to up the foam, up it. I've got 25 mil in my foamer, my IK foamer. If you want a thicker foam, just put a little bit more in, just experiment. So you can actually use these products together in your maintenance regime. I absolutely love wheel shampoos, especially on my wheels. And yes, I'm choosing to use the rather softer wheel woolies. Next up for the faces and the spokes. Now these brushes have a resin insert. The hog's hair is inserted in there and it's resin, it's not glued. Do not leave any brushes in water, even plastic handled ones, it doesn't do them any good. With wooden brushes, perhaps not these, if you leave them in water, not a good idea because they can swell up. Remember, wood is a natural resource. It's a bit like me, I swell up overnight sometimes, I've had too much gin. These are lovely to use, a nice ergonomic handle, game with your mitt.
Notice dirty car. Don't worry about that. This is just a purely a video about wheels. So what he sent down as well was the wheel and tire buffing towel. It's nice this because it's just the right size. Decent pile, perfect for drying off. I don't know how I've got dirt on my car because I've been doing 40 miles an hour everywhere. Thanks to the roadworks of Essex. If I have to go through one more diversion. Uh, so you can follow this up with one of these. If you've got one of these, it's the big boy blower from Ultimate Finish. So you can use a pet blower. Just to dry around the lug nut area. Just get rid of the last bit of water. And of course you have to dry your tire before you buy any dressings. Otherwise you'll just smear it all over the tire. Now I've kept this real time. Rather than just speed everything up. If you want to speed it up while you're sat in the toilet watching this, while you're at work. I know you watch your videos when you're at work. Then speed it up, but you'll miss bits. So they've got a nice twist cap on here. Fantastic to put a decent lid on it. So as mentioned, it's got SiO2 in this. And this is the fantastic dressing brush. Get one of these. These are fantastic. And they're cheap. Who are? Sorry about that. Must be my age. That's what it looks like. Prime the brush. I mentioned this has got SiO2 in it. The idea of this is to last longer, to protect your tires that much longer. They reckon six to eight weeks. I will show you what it looks like now. Rather glossy but it does die down. So the rear wheels, just as bad, if not worse. So we're just going to be using the wheel and tire cleaner, I'm not going to be using the wheel shampoo. Make sure you liberally spray your wheel. Get in in the barrels, and away you go. So what you can do is you can preload your wheel woolly. Chucking a little foreign body out of there. That's guinea pig hay. It gets everywhere. No, I don't keep my guinea pigs outside. Anyway, they're not mine, they're the wife's. Pointless pets, I call them, guinea pigs. Absolute waste of time. Attention to detail there, he's got the uh, car scope logo on the towel. Nice. What I will say about this product is a little goes a very long way. As quick before. Oh, that's better. And there's the after. So this was the next day. I've driven the car around. And they're still looking nice. It's just calmed down a little bit. Now, an update on the Soft 99 Fuso coat. That's why I've kept the car dirty. 
it's still repelling water. What about the glass sealant? Yes, fantastic stuff. I haven't used my wipers hardly at all. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and we will see you on the next one. Check out the links below this video for the car scope stuff, and check out for all the future videos that are coming up. Hit that notification bell, and we will see you on the next video. Ta-da!